chapter 22. We continue in this great chapter this morning. Thank you always, uh, as always, for joining me. I, I've slowed our readings down, uh, focusing especially during uh, this portion of the life of Christ. Um, I want us to take in um, every moment, every verse, and um, it, it's, I, I just like to slow down a little bit when we get to some of these places. So I hope um, that it's been helpful to you. I hope we're taking all of this in. Um, in our reading this morning, Jesus is going to take his disciples to the Mount of Olives where uh, they're going to sleep for the night. While, while, and while Luke doesn't record this for us, we, we know from the other Gospels that Judas, he, he's betrayed Jesus for 30 pieces of silver. And Jesus is fully aware of, of what is happening. He's fully aware of what is uh, about to happen. So this morning, I, I want to read just a few verses um, together. And as we read this, I just want us to be reminded and appreciate the humanity of Jesus. Certainly he is God. Um, but he took on flesh and, and in doing so he experienced to the nth degree all that, that we experience. Um, ultimately allowing him to be our sympathizing high priest as, as the Hebrew writer uh, would describe him. So Hebrews or Hebrews, <laughs> Luke chapter 22. Let's begin at, at verse 39, please. It says, and he came out and proceeded, as, he was, as was his custom, to the Mount of Olives, and the disciples also followed him. When he arrived at the place, he said to them, pray that you may not enter into temptation. He withdrew from them about a stone's throw, and he knelt down and began to pray, saying, Father, if you are willing, remove this cup from me, yet not my will, but yours be done. Now an angel from heaven appeared to him, strengthening him. Being in agony, he was praying very fervently, and his sweat became like drops of blood falling down upon the ground. And when he arose from the prayer, he came to the disciples and found them sleeping from sorrow. He said to them, why are you sleeping? Get up and pray that you may not enter in uh, to temptation. Jesus tells his disciples here to pray. Don't sleep, but pray. At this most important moment, they needed to pray. But I want us to appreciate the why. Listen again to Jesus. He said to them, verse 40, pray that you do not enter or come into temptation. But then how often do we neglect, I, I, I think, to make this connection? You know, in the midst of temptation, do we pray? Do, do we start the day asking for God to help us by way uh, of temptation, by way of avoiding temptation? Brethren, th these men, they were going to be under a, a vicious attack. Satan's going to seek to devour them just as, as he does us. And, and, and what they were desperately going to need just as we desperately need. They needed God's strength. And how would they access that power and strength? They would do it through prayer. You know, take some time this morning, if you have it, and be reminded of what Paul would say in Ephesians 6 by way of this battle that we're all in, all of the spiritual armor that, that, that's found um, by way of the word, and, and then coupled there with prayer. And take some time and be reminded of those things. These brethren, as Jesus says, needed to pray. Brethren, we need to pray. They needed God's strength. We need God's strength. But Jesus didn't just tell them to pray. Jesus, he slips away. and He does exactly what he tells them to do. He kneels down and he prays. Jesus knew exactly what he was about to experience. And, and he understood the magnitude. He understood the emotional and physical suffering and pain that he was about to incur. And he prayed. And Jesus prayed as he asked the Father to allow this cup to pass from him. Again, we, we appreciate the humanity of Jesus, understanding fully what he was about to go through. But then he says this in verse 42, yet not my will, but yours be done. You know, in saying that, essentially what Jesus is doing is he gives it to the Father. You know, Jesus had the power to stop all of this. He was God. He had the power to do this, but it wasn't. The Father's will. You know, certainly the humanity of Jesus. His flesh is screaming, don't do this. Don't go through this. You don't deserve this. Don't put yourself through this. Yet not my will, but yours be done. You know, brother, this, this is our battle. You know, the flesh, its desires, we, we experience these things. And it leads us to moments of decision, right? There's things we want to do. 
things our flesh desires. But then there's the Father's will for us. The proper perspective, yet not my will, but yours be done. God provided him strength in the form of an angel from heaven. And in verse 44, we see the agony as his sweat, it says, became like drops of blood. And then there's this. As he finished praying, he returns to find his disciples sleeping. And Jesus tells them, get up and pray. How often has Jesus found me sleeping when I should have been praying? How often has Jesus found me working when I should have been praying? How often has Jesus found me worrying when I should have been praying? Justin, get up and pray so that you don't come into temptation. Let's pray together. Our Father in heaven, Father, as we're reminded this morning of what our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, what he was willing to endure and go through for us. Father, it's a great reminder for us that he knew exactly what he was doing and why he was doing it. Father, your love for us, sinners who don't deserve it, it's overwhelming. But Father, we are so thankful for your plan by way of our salvation, for your son and his willingness to come to this earth and to die a most dreadful death. Father, we're thankful. Father, we pray that as we open up your word and we're reminded of what's been done for us, Father, we pray that it will light a fire within us, a desire to tell others about you, your love for them, a hope of heaven that's found in Christ Jesus. Bless us with those opportunities, Father. Be with those who are hurting. Be with Ellie with Nancy. Be with all those, Father, among us who have been touched by this virus. Father, be with your people. In Jesus' name we pray.